So you probably noticed we got some wonderful music on, and that's because this question is a doozy. It's gonna be five steps. And what we're gonna do here is help Billy Bob figure out how many damn carpets he's gonna to have to clean to get that net profit of $55,000. So that $55,000 is the desired after-tax profit. And what we're gonna to need to do is calculate the amount of sales units, right? How many units or carpets does Bob need to clean in order to obtain that after-tax profit of $55,000. So we learned about the two steps, right? The first one is we gotta figure out what that pre-tax profit is, and then we add that along with the fixed cost together, and then we divide by contribution margin per unit. And that will give us the amount of sales units or carpets that Bob needs to clean. And then from there, right, to get total sales, we just multiply by the selling price per unit, right, which is the carpet cleaning cost. So our step one, that's where we're gonna calculate the pre-tax target profit. So if the desired or target net profit after tax is $55,000 and our tax rate is 35%, well, to get that desired profit on a pre-tax basis, we just take $55,000 and divide by one minus the tax rate. So that's 55,000 divided by 65%, and that gives us a desired profit pre-tax of $84,615. Now what you can do to check your math here is just take that 84,615, multiply by 35%, and that will give you the taxes, and then subtract that, and that will get you back to that de desired after-tax profit of $55,000. So now in step two, this is where we're gonna calculate total fixed cost. So total fixed cost, right, this is relating to the fact that cost can be variable or fixed. Now the question tells us there's really two components to fixed costs here. There's the fixed office expenses, which are $75,000, and then there's fixed factory overhead, which is $30,000. So add those together, we have total fixed cost of $105,000. So now we're gonna shift into step three, which is where we calculate the contribution margin per unit. So that basically factors in the selling price per unit and then any variable costs that are directly attributable to that unit being sold. So in this case, right, the selling price per carpet is $1,250. To me, that seems very high, but Billy Bob must do an excellent job. And then we're gonna subtract out variable manufacturing overhead of $300. And then there's also commission, which is 8% of each sale. So 8% times 1,250, that's $100 of commission per unit sold. So we subtract out those variable costs and we're left with contribution margin per unit of $850. So if we look back to step two in our visual, right? Well, we see we have fixed cost, pre-tax profit, and contribution margin per unit. So now we're ready to calculate the sales units needed to obtain that $55,000 after-tax profit. So we take the desired profit pre-tax of $84,615 from step one, add in total fixed cost of $105,000 from step two, and that gives us target profit plus fixed cost of $189,615. And now we just divide by the contribution margin per unit of $850, and that tells us Bob's gonna have to actually clean 223 carpets, right? That's the amount of sales units needed. But that doesn't answer the question. The question wants it in sales dollars, so that's why step five is needed here, where we convert to sales in dollars. So take that sales units needed of 223 carpets, multiply it by the selling price per carpet of 1,250, and that means Bob needs total sales of $278,846, so that's the correct answer. On the exam, right, they could ask you any of the options that are in these five steps plus other things, right? So you have to understand how all of these concepts are related.